you watching this call, you seen what the the perfect helicopter became. This is the new perfect helicopter I did last night. Yeah, it's morning. Morning. It's night time, but okay. This is the perfect rescue vehicle. It's moderately better than the three that crashed trying to rescue Bob. I'm going to see if I can rescue Bob this time. Is there anything else I want to do to this before I launch it again? I don't think so. No, Bob wasn't rescued. In fact, I stranded three more Kerbals out there who crashed their helicopters, one of which disappeared. And the lander and the flag for Bill disappeared as well. Fucking game, dropping stuff through the terrain. Um, I don't think this needed anything else. I don't know what the balance is like at the moment. Nighttime. I'm sick of it being fucking nighttime. Nighttime rescues are kind of cool, but. Ah, fuck it. We'll make it a nighttime rescue then. It's fine. It'll go fine. It'll be great. Uh, I'll do nighttime rescue. Nighttime rescue missions are cooler. It's just landing. It can be a bit of a pain. I have a tendency to crash. Look, there's one of the other ones I crashed, and there's one of the other ones I crashed. Wow, this thing is finicky. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to run it at lower throttle now because it's got two extra propellers on it. So I can run it at quite low throttle. And it will uh chug along just pack me out. He really wants to fly nose down. It's flying pretty fast though. It's just flying in the wrong direction is all. It's alright, I can change its direction. See top here, he's a pro helicopter pilot. He can fly closer to the terrain than anyone else. Oh look, there's the ground. I seem to be falling rather quickly actually. Probably fall off a little bit. There we go. It's alright, in a couple of minutes I'll remember how to fly it and then I'll be fine.
There we go. Let's check him along. 100 meters a second, that's pretty good. It's doing like 200 miles an hour. It's, that's not bad, I think, for a helicopter. Especially for a helicopter I designed. I'm not actually... See, there's three Kerbals waiting for a rescue. I'm not going to pick all three of them up. If I can rescue Bob, that'll do, because I'm not doing three. This thing is still unbalanced. If I can't bother fixing the balance, it'll be fine. How far away are they? 30 kilometers. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's just slow going. I tried building one of these with jet engines on it, but it didn't work out well. With or without wings. It was just not a successful proposition at all. I should put the trim thing back on it so I can trim it. That'd help. I was really close to rescuing people twice. One time the helicopter disappeared as I was climbing into it. It literally just disappeared. Which is stupid. Like the spaceship disappeared. And another time it fell over on takeoff because it was on a slant. But I fixed that. So there should be no problem this time as long as they don't crash into anything. Top does not look that confident. I'm sure he'll do fine though. But we're gonna do okay. We're gonna. Guys over there, Bob is here, someone else is here, I don't even know who's there. Bob is the one I'm interested in. There's pro helicopter flying here now, this is great, and the lights the lights are doing their thing, I think, nearly. Well, there's some lights on the ground for one of the other helicopters that crashed as well. That's helpful. I have my easy mode landing option ready to go anyway if I can't pull this off.
over the ground is great, isn't it? There's just too many things to control at once and it's too unstable to keep it all under control. Easy mode landing, go! There we go. Professional helicopter flying. Not going to break down. And there they are. They're right there, it's great. Hey, Bob. Bob's here somewhere. Bob. Why can't I control Bob? Do it the easy way. Bob. You made it to the moon and back. You're like a VIP. Here's one of the previous attempts. <laughs> and over there in the distance is another one of the previous attempts. <laughs> and there's the rotor in the ground. Good times. This guy's gonna repack the chutes for me so I can land easily again. Now, let's see if I can get this thing off the ground without flipping it over. There we go. Away I go. Fuck the rest of you. You crash your helicopters, you can stay there. Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. be heading? Yes, it is that pile of crap in this direction. What the fuck? Oh, that's the stuff that's in orbit still. You can really zoom out really far. So this, I think, is the direction I need to go in. Really heavily. Oh, 
Also, because the way the fuel is wired up, the side engines may start to run out of fuel. off these side engines for a little while, hang on. Kill the throttle, shut down engine, shut down engine, throttle back up using main rotor only. That'll decrease the fuel usage a bit. It'll still drain the side tanks first, which is poor design. But I sure hope the main rotor can keep this thing in the air. Powerful though. Well, it has parachutes. If all else fails, I'll deploy the parachutes and send another helicopter to come get this one. I'm gonna start building more seats in these things. Yeah, I can fly like this. It just has different dynamics, so it takes a second to get used to it. Refine. Now it tends to tilt backwards. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fly on autopilot like this, so I'm going to have to fly it manually all the way back. Slight pain. I'll do it. I'll manage it. I'll succeed. Professional helicopter piloting happening right here. This is good stuff. I should give lessons. If only the SAS could hold the attitude, I could turn on time compression, but it can't. It's, it's tilting. I need trim. I need to put the trim module back on it. falling at the moment. So what should I do next anyway? Once I've got this guy back, assuming I make it back in one piece, what should I what should my next project be? I'm thinking either going back to the moon or putting a space station in orbit.
This is so slow. I want my tank compression back. Man, if I fly this all the way back at one speed, only to crash it, I will be sad. But with the parachutes, that's basically impossible. This thing can also do water landings as long as you're gentle. It can actually land and take off in the water. Which is quite neat. So the SAS floats the nose upwards so I can kind of dip it and then turn on SAS and then let it flow up and then push it down again and lets me take my hands off the controls for a second. So I'm not constantly tapping W. You can even turn on time compression while the nose rises. If I had the trim thing I could trim it and then the SAS should be able to handle it, but I don't. Even fuel wise. Ah, we're fine. I think when I turn on these tanks again, though, it's suddenly going to start pulling. Although, with that turned off, they should be able to pull from the center tank, actually, so. Actually, yeah, it might be okay if those side tanks drain. It might not be a problem. I'm not sure. And now I have to turn it, which is always a fun proposition. Gentle turn. Oh. Nice gentle turn. You can do it. There we go. There we go. See the runway.
all my cripples look so depressed all the time. Why like, so many of them die? Yeah, neat if I could land him on top of the tower since he's been to space he could stay on the tower that could be his important person position but uh, I don't think I could fly this thing quite that accurately so I might pass on attempting that come on nose up you Professional tier, no parachute landing coming up. Check it out. Okay, one of the wheels is embedded in the ground apparently, but that's okay. There we go. Fucking flawless. Can this thing drive forwards? Yes, it can. If I leave Bob here, he'll just disappear eventually. Pulls to the left a bit, but it taxis. Flawless victory. Now, if only I had put Bob inside. No, if only I had put Bob outside and Bill inside, Bill would have survived his week on the moon. Unfortunately, it just ends up with Bob coming back having failed. Tragic, really. He is now the nominated helicopter pilot because of his ability to not crash. I have no way of refueling this thing. 
That's the only problem. It doesn't have a docking port. I think that's the only way to refuel. Is there a way to refuel? What would be nice is like fuel lines that you could attach in game would be nice. So you could actually attach a fueling line and transfer the fuel. I thought there was something that did that. I thought um, the, 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 the Kerbal Attachment System examples included refueling. Oh, of course, because when you attach stuff with the Kerbal Attachment System, you can attach it as docked, in which case you can transfer fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a winch. So, or a connector port, so I can't do that. Anyway, let's see what else we've got out here. So there's Bob and there's Perfection, Mark 1B. Oh, I'm just going to end these ones. I cannot be bothered flying out there again to get those guys. So fuck them. Jebediah is still out there somewhere as well. Goodbye, Jebediah. But yeah, the the lander, the, the USS Bill Kerman lander, disappeared. The flag I put in memory of him and his parachute related death disappeared. Stupid game. Everything's disappearing, man. Disappearing stuff, the game.
Anyway, I'll fix up this. Perfection Mark 1B. It needs the trim thing. Is that in here, or is it in the utility thing? I'm not sure. so much stuff now with all these mods. Can't find a damn thing. Or it might be in control actually. Trim adjustment gadget, there we go. Radial connector port dismountable. Well, that's interesting. Maybe I can mount something on the existing one. Um, let's try it out. Let's make a fuel tanker! Really quickly. First thing a fuel tanker needs is fuel. What's this orange thing? That's really small. There's that. That might be a bit excessive. This isn't excessive. This is completely reasonable. very radially mounted to me. That's facing the wrong way. There we go. That's what you do with that. That's quite neat actually. I like that. Best fuel truck ever. All this stuff. A difference between these? They look the damn same. Hang on, let's just try sticking some of these on and see what happens. But the correct rotate the just the way I need you. Yes. Good. That's one. That's obviously poorly positioned, but fuck it. 
it's a mini game in itself trying to get things the right way around. So, uh, that's good enough. And there's this. And they're all just slight variations on a theme, really. Like, there's actually any functional difference. But yeah, this is one of the mods I added in. It gives you wheels that need an actual engine, and it gives you engines. What other kind of wheels are there? I did more than that, didn't I? Oh yeah. We'll give it some symmetry. That's not quite right. Plenty good enough. This might work. Fuel to be a rover truck fuel. <laughs> this is art in the making, is what this is. I don't know if these need power or not. We're about to find out though. Has that even got any ground clearance? Okay, so nothing's happening, so I guess they need power. I don't know. I don't think they're actually off the ground. Quite. It takes three people to drive this thing. How ridiculous is that? Fucking symmetry mode. Damn game.
we go. I'll put the engines on the wheels. Because that makes total sense. See? This is an extremely sensible design. Oh! Damn! <laughs> Why does everything I make inevitably explode? Does it need the engines or not? Or was XO raised the ride height a bit? Is the first question. The second question is why the fuck did it explode? These didn't kill anyone. Yeah, it needed the engines, that was the problem. And I think it needed fewer engines, I think that was a bit much. We'll just put one engine up on the back and make it a bit slower. And it also needs like... Oh yeah. Superb. We should give some stats on how powerful these different engines are. Yeah, this is theoretically going to fuel the uh, helicopter. A mini helipad on top of the fuel tank, of course! Why didn't I realize that? It's so obvious. And then I'll just land the helicopter on top of this tiny fuel tank. It's so easy. It's a flawless plan. Let's see if this thing can now survive being driven. It can't turn. It's going to be interesting when it hits the side of the runway. Here we go. Oh yeah. No fucks given. Still can't steer though. Heading for the water. No, the front of these wheels aren't made for turning. I've put different wheels on the front. You can put it in throttle mode so you control it like it's an engine. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, he does not give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm just driving. <laughs> Fabulous. Oops. Oh, we're heading for the water. Everybody out, quickly. Jump. You've got to jump, man. Dude, get out of the way. Dude, dude, get out of the way. 
You gotta move. No. All you have to do is get out of the way, man. It's okay, they're fine anyway. <laughs> yes, lights are obviously the highest priority for this vehicle right now. It's, it needs them more than anything else. Give this a four wheel drive, it'll be good. This is a nice little mod actually, I like this. This is this is quite good. Yes, it does need some lights, which means it needs electricity, actually. I think the reason it couldn't turn is because that your man just didn't care. You see him looking out the window, he was looking around, looking at the passengers, looking behind him, checking out the stars. Where are we driving? He doesn't care. He just keeps on trucking. I have the weirdest desire to play Euro Truck Simulator now. I'll just stick to driving this, though. This could probably have gone and picked up the Kerbals 80 kilometers away and brought them some fucking fuel. Uh, lights. Lights utility. There's real life vehicles with jet engines and helicopter parts, I think. Jet. I'm sure they exist. Well, a jet powered helicopter, but I think there's helicopters with little jets on the side too. There is precedent for my crazy idea. See, look, there's little jet engines on this at the side. It might not use them to actually fly, but they're there. They're there.
that's not that useful, is it? Seems to get stuck inside the thing. Let's put it over here instead. Be fine. Now it says this is dismountable, right? Heavy less resistant, but can be dismounted and mounted on any part from EVA. I presume it means it can also be mounted on other other things. Maybe. We'll see. And look, to make it even, we'll put in two. We'll do it in symmetry mode. There we go. Perfect. The Kerbals could probably do with a way up to the cab as well, so uh, that's going to be a ladder. Might work. They're totally jet engines, man. That helicopter does 300 miles an hour. It can go ballistic, I guarantee you. You can also go to space. Hmm. Does this engine produce electricity? I bet it doesn't. Let's find out. My stream is getting more boring with time. I've gone design from designing rockets to go to the moon, to designing rovers, to designing helicopters, to designing a fuel truck. By next week I'll be designing, like, go-karts or something. Lights! Yeah, it doesn't have a source of electricity. I'll have to give it solar panels, too, to recharge it. The lights are pretty good, though. They worked out pretty well. Don't need them right now, though. Turn them off. How about this ladder? No, not the fuel tank. The ladder. The ladder. Yes. Look at this pro climbing, man. Wow. Like fucking Spider Man. I still think a helicopter with a jet engine is a good idea. So it can go faster. This isn't working at all. Well, anyway, let's see if these things are actually dismountable. Wow, it really is. Oh, wow. I heard drilling sounds when you attach it. Should you really drill into a fuel tank? Especially a giant fuel tank. This ladder needs some work, though. What the? Please don't do that. Silly game. I'll use the other, hang on, give me the other ladder. Where's the other ladder? It's in utility. 
Ladders, 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 ladders. Where are they? Here we go. Here's the long one. I'll put the long one here. And I'll kind of just... Um... There we go. The flawless plan. Okay, now we'll test the ladder. <laughs> yep, best ladder ever. Let's see if we can climb straight. No, this way, this way. Let's see if we can climb straight onto it. Look at how few fucks this guy gives. He'll climb down that ladder fucking upside down, happy out. You know? Uh, perfection. Here we go. That steering. It's pity it's silent. It's pity there's no sound effects for the small engines. Look at this guy. Down here. He gives no fucks at all. He's just hanging on. But okay guys, let's go. I hope they can reach this thing. It's a bit high up actually. I wonder how good the brakes are on this. Look out Bob Kerman. Here comes the fuel truck. I'll aim away from them so if it can't stop, at least I won't blow anything up. Whoa, that's not too bad. Brakes, please. Er, oh, the brakes are good actually. Put the put the actual brakes on. It does quite well. Fuck Euro Truck Simulator, man. Here's your fucking truck simulator. Now, can I actually reach this? Yes, but I'm not going to reach it just yet because I need to uh, do this. If this actually works, this mod is capable of way more than I realized, because it means not only can you build things that you can dock using cables, but you can also add docking ports, effectively docking ports, to things after you've already launched them, which is crazy. But we'll see if it works. Imagine if I'd sent this to the moon. Yeah, I'm sure a diesel engine is going to work really well on the moon. Although, yeah, sending one of these to the moon could be a laugh. A fuel truck on the moon? Why not? Things are going to need fuel. I'll build one with engines on it so I can have a fuel truck in space. It technically won't drive using the wheels, but it'll look pretty fancy, you know? Space truck! Anyway. Oh my god, it's working! It's working! It lives!
Look at this! This is so awesome! Oh yeah, I've got to keep it selected otherwise it won't work. Hang on. There we go. You created something that functions decently in less than an hour and it's not blowing up. Well, it blew up that once. But yeah, it works. It's a new milestone. Yeah, man, I should stick to designing ground vehicles. I seem to be pretty good at it, you know? That thing is now fully topped up, right? Yep. That is so awesome. This is the greatest game ever. How many other games can make refueling something this satisfying? Has he left a hole in the fuel tank now? I could try dragging the helicopter with the fuel tank or using the helicopter to lift the fuel tank, but I I know it's not going to work and I don't want to blow stuff up unnecessarily, so I'm not going to try. That helicopter cannot lift anything, it will just crash. Dude, use the winch. Uh, I can move from inside the truck. Can you remove your road truck simulator? Sweet. That is fucking legit ladder, man. I love that. I have the. I'm like, why won't it move? The brakes are on. Uh. It's like space truck simulator, you know? Even better. I don't know why it takes three curvals to drive it, but you know, whatever. I may as well just leave this here actually, it could come in useful rather than spawning a new one every time. I'll use this one until it runs out of fuel. So now I have my fuel my fuel tank and my rescue helicopter parked up and there's Bob who made it back from the moon. It's great. I have everything. Everything's here. The whole team is assembled. It's like fucking Thunderbirds, you know. Everything you need is right here. I'll just move this up next to the helicopter, actually. This engine runs on air. It's a diesel engine, but they don't model the diesel, presumably because you know, you don't. Diesel is such a small thing in a space game. You don't need to model it at all. So as long as it's got air, it's fine. Tracking station. Fuel standing by to launch. Joby Kerbin slash down. Oh, he must be from the previous fuel thing. Goodbye, Joby. Perfection, Mark 1B.
But yep, it's a functioning towing vehicle. It can probably tow that helicopter or just break it in the process, but who cares? I'm quite happy with that. I like that little truck. That's a cool little truck. Check how the rover's doing. Oh yeah, the rover, yeah. How's the rover doing? Still broken. Its bling light is still turned on. But yeah, still broken. It's so lonely. Stupid rover. Broke. I think it's still a good rover, it just needs some work. What's the center part for this? It is that. No, it's not that. It's that. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, I came up with a way, because the reason for these is I need something short, shorter than the back, but I need it, like, connector points. But I think I may have a solution to that, which I will now try to uh, implement. Um, which will make this Mark V, actually. Or Mark IV will be, I guess. I will... Uh, Move this and this. That's kind of ridiculously large, isn't it? Actually, it won't let me do what I want to do anyway, will it? My god, there's so many parts in here now, I can't find anything. Yes, this was a great plan. This, this is working fantastically. I suppose I could just make the front as wide as the back. It's not ideal, but... It makes it look weird and it doesn't really give me any advantage in the width of the front, so no, I'm just going to make it the same as the back. Fuck it. Ooh, 
why won't people just make more variations on these things so it's more flexible? That ready so much to ask? Now the front wheels are all the way out there, which is just silly. The extra oops. Oh wait, no, it's just servers and sir the the servos. So they should still be okay. Back. Front. Test it out. Seems to handle okay. Actually, it'll probably handle better. It probably won't flip over as easily now. Because the front has got wider wheelbase or whatever. You know, something. It's got a wider something something, so it won't do the something or others some of the times. I'll do. Well, okay, so I've updated the rover. Um, did the rescue helicopter thing. I have a fuel thing now, which is nice. What the fuck next? A lot of good what will do me now. The rover? I can still bring the rover to other places. The rover will be seen again. Here's an interesting idea for a uh, 
attaching a rover to something. It's a very small rover, so it's easier to attach it by the back and just lift it up. It's just it does have to be very small. I know, isn't it? Much nicer than, uh... It's much nicer looking in the mine. I think it's actually just a cockpit with some bars attached and stuff. Very, very simple. Because I want in mind to have external seats, which makes it harder to design. Ironically, ones that are built in like that and all fancy are actually smaller than the ones that are just made out of bare metal. Of course, that rover can't drive upside down. Mine can. Worth keeping in mind, I think. Oh yeah, there's two. Well, of course there's two. This is what I told you before about the command modules. Solution to symmetry is carry two of everything. I'll be back in a second. Unfortunately, I have no nomables. I only have coke. I would go get some, but I've already been to the shop once today. Right, so what am I building next? How about fuel station? I think that's because I was thinking I installed the mod that lets you do remote control of stuff with realistic coke, um, coke, coke, warm coke. Yes, it's warm coke fucking heat wave here, if I don't keep it in the fridge, it's going to be warm coke. Anyway, getting back to the remote controllable coke, you can now control it with realistic delays with this mod, which I don't know how to use. So I could launch a communication satellite to start on that, but I think a fuel station will be good first, because shit's just going to go wrong in orbit, and you're just going to need fuel sometimes. Oh, and I need a space refueling truck so that if something runs out of fuel while in orbit, the fueling truck can go to it and bring it fuel. Well, the first thing I need is the station. And that means designing something, which I'm always bad at and slow at. I did see something cool, though. Where was it? Where was that giant thing? Oh, I've got cargo bays now as well, which is kind of cool. Don't know how well they work. Why do I get the question it wasn't in there? Maybe 
utility. Must have been a structural though. I mean, that's what it is. It's a structural thing. Here we go. It's the Mega Strat. Look at the size of this. We're building these fucking space stations with. How heavy is this thing? Total mass two. That's pretty good. How does that only have a mass of two? Impact tolerance 15. Wow. Fragile. So I'm saying I could put loads of docking ports on this. Billions of docking ports. This is a great plan. I know they'll be more interested to build this out of smaller parts. This thing is kind of a cheat. It's so huge. What about these ones? These ones are kind of nice. Thing. Bloody hell. For the look of that, I think. This is nice style. I can't do anything with it now though.
See you later, B-Man. This is this skull this is a masterpiece of space station design. Making this unmanned would probably be good. I don't want to leave a Kerbal in orbit forever. That's a bit mean. something I wrote myself, a script I wrote myself that does that. The join channel messages are unreliable anyway, they're just like a thing I threw in that don't actually work properly. See, okay, here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking of making the station unmanned, but for all the unmanned stuff, I want to use the mod that forces you to do it realistically. I don't just want to use the, the silly, you can control things halfway across the universe bullshit. But then to do my unmanned station, I need something manned somewhere to tell it what to do. I might make it manned at first and then take the Kerbal away when I'm done. Was it hard to write the script? It wasn't that hard once I figured out the tricks needed to do it, but figuring out the tricks was kind of hard. Plus, it's still got bugs in it after a year, like it's, it's a bit finicky. It's still in testing. No, it's not Twitch API, it's simpler, simpler trickery than that. Um, I need to look up the page for this mod before I start doing the... Okay, um... What the fuck was this called? Remote Tech. Remote Tech, Girl Space Format.
What I'm wondering right now is can I put the uh, remote control and remote command stuff on at the same time? thing on it. Is that something? It's a mystery. I've never used these things before, so I'm just having to kind of attach random parts to see what they are. pieces If I'm making this any bit, any bit bigger, I'm probably going to have to send it up in components anyway. Can't send up the whole thing at once.
Can you actually connect things inside that? Yes, you actually can. How big can they be? Okay, not that big. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Kerbin Space Station Base, that's what I'll call this base component. This is going to be part of it, though. What do we have here now? What? Oh, uh, as always with my designs, I won't be able to tell you for certain until it's finished. But it's going to be something resembling a space station, hopefully. With any luck. Going, come back here. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Is that it? What the? Wow, oh, I can put it all the way out there. No, oh, I'd want to do that, but I can, I guess. Why won't it come closer? Why is it stuck all the way over there? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, thanks. That's very helpful. Thanks, game. That's great. Wow, the game really does not want to let me move that back into the middle. It's like, nope, it's staying far away. My god, every day I play this game finds new and interesting ways to screw up. Just one. It's like, hello, I'm trying to move it in three dimensions, not two. This seems to have forgotten that there is in fact a third. Oh my god, it's gone again. Can we bring it back? If I do this again, it might come back. Yes, there it is. I think this may be a lost cause, I may have to rebuild this part.
Okay, I got a car on the way back. Doesn't want to move in this direction at all. Outstanding. Stop going downwards. Oh, forget it. Calm down. Start from scratch. Luckily, there's not too much of a build. Fuck me. Yeah, now it's working again. It just completely bugged out and would only let me move up and down. I don't know. <laughs> Too small. Yeah, post a few links away, yeah. Uh... Have a look. Oh! Wow. Bigger. Yes. Oh wow. That's quite something. <laughs> That's pretty good. Are those skies going to be in the game? Surely not. That's a very nice sky. Ah, yes, yeah, static image. Ah. Oh. That being said, even if it's a static background, maybe they could do something nice with that. I don't know, but probably they won't. Nice. Structural. Where are these monstrosities gone? Yes.
character, isn't it? Although... Tragically, the game will only let it be connected the wrong way around. Triangle hitting the thing. I'm tempted to switch over myself, but I can't stream and watch streams at the same time. Well, it's generally a bad idea. My internet kind of dies. Well, I can try and see what happens, I guess. Uh, for one second. 